As you prepare to schedule volunteers, you'll first need to ensure that you have your teams set up and the volunteer positions or group roles created in your church team's account. A volunteer team is simply a group. Create the groups that you'll need, such as nursery, preschool, elementary teams, or if you don't have too many children's ministry classes, you can put all of those volunteers into one group. Next, create your group roles. Do this by going to Groups and Events, Settings, then Group Roles. You'll notice here that we've set up some default group roles in your account. Scroll to the bottom and add a new role. Be sure that you link the group role with any ministry type where a group or a team will be using that particular role. Let's go to Groups and Events, Service Volunteers. You'll see that we've set up some default templates and schedules. These are just samples that you can edit and use if you'd like. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch by creating a new template. A template is a boilerplate where you'll set the standard number of volunteers needed for each role within the volunteer teams. These templates are designed to save you time by not having to designate the roles and number of people needed each time that you schedule a new date for serving. You'll simply add or invite people to the team and roles within each template. So let's go ahead and create our first template. Here, you'll give your template a name. Next, you'll add teams, the volunteer groups that you created. So in this case, we'll scroll down to our volunteer section and we'll add elementary. As you select teams to add to the template, indicate the number of volunteers you'll need for each role. So in this case, I'll need a couple of aides in my fourth and fifth grade room, a couple of aides in my kindergarten and third grade room, and then I'll also need teachers. We'll also add in a hall monitor. Once you've indicated the standard number of volunteers needed, just click Save. Continue adding teams. Once you've added all the teams that will use this particular ministry template, just go back to your Service Volunteers page. Now you'll add scheduled dates for serving to this template. So you'll want to consider which type of schedule you want to set up. We typically see three different scenarios of scheduling. One for preset teams. This could be used for teams that you already have set up and want to pre-schedule, and with teams that maybe alternate, such as a first and third Sunday team and a second and fourth Sunday team. There's also choice of role. This is a schedule where all of the volunteer positions are open and you allow for people to accept any open role until all of the roles are filled on a first come first serve basis. And then of course, we have a hybrid of these two. In this scheduling scenario, you can invite people or even pre-schedule people into roles that you know they prefer, and then invite the rest of the team, allowing them a choice of any open role. For now, we'll look at creating a generic schedule and inviting some people to serve. To add a date or a schedule to the template that you've created, just click Add Schedule. Here, you can continue to use the name of the template, or if you've got a special event, you can put that name here too. Then choose the date. We'll choose next Sunday. So we'll look and see what roles are needed on each team and then invite or pre-schedule people to those roles. Simply click the blue plus button under any role. You'll see all of the volunteer roles that need filled and then all of the members of this team. Select anyone you'd like to serve by checking the box to the left of their name. Then use the drop down menu to indicate where you'd like them to serve. Go ahead and uncheck member because that simply indicates that they're a member of the team. We want to choose where we want them to serve. In this case, an aide in the fourth and fifth grade room. If you're pre-confirming this person because they show up every week as the teacher scheduled for this class, just click pre-confirmed. They will simply receive reminders to serve. You'll notice there are also options to select everyone on the team, or you can just select a few and then indicate that these are allowed a choice of role. This means we're not placing them in a particular position, just allowing them to choose. Once you've selected all the volunteers and roles for this particular date on this team, click Save. Move on to your next team. You'll notice in elementary, we allowed for a choice of role, but maybe in nursery, we want to invite people into particular rooms. As you continue scheduling on your teams, you'll notice that anyone scheduled somewhere else will show a conflict so that you won't accidentally schedule them. 
you can still invite them to this schedule and then they'll be able to choose which team they want to serve on. Once you're done scheduling for this date, go back to your service volunteers page. You'll see that your schedule is in draft mode. In other words, it hasn't been sent out to any of your volunteers. This allows you to continue creating multiple schedules and then send all of the dates at once. For example, if this is the same schedule of people that you'll use date after date after date, you could duplicate this particular schedule onto several other dates. If you want to invite different people into the roles for future dates, just click the Add Schedule and create a new schedule that you'll use on a different date. Once you have several dates set up and you're ready to send these out to your volunteers, click the menu to the right of any date that's in draft mode, then invite. Notice that any schedule in draft mode will appear in this list. Simply check the box for any schedule that you'd like to send, then click next. Any schedule that's left unchecked will remain in draft mode and won't be available to volunteers. Clicking the next button opened up an email editor where you'll see the list of all of the schedules that you're ready to send. Put in a reply to email address and feel free to enter a custom email message to your volunteers or leave it for the default where they'll simply be invited to accept or decline each of the dates where you've scheduled them. Once you're through, hit send requests. Here's a look at the default email sent to a volunteer, which includes a link to their schedule. Clicking the link, volunteers are then able to accept or decline, and in cases where you made the setting available, put a substitute in their place. There's more information on substitute settings in our knowledge base. Before we close out, a few things to note regarding volunteer scheduling. From the Service Volunteers page, the system shows you how many roles remain open or spots you need to fill. This number reflects a role where either no one has been invited or scheduled or someone has declined. So for example, on this first date, we show nine. Looking further into the schedule, you can see this nine reflects where a person is still needed on all of the teams put together for this one schedule. The system assumes that a pending person will show up unless they decline. While we're here, let's also touch on conflicts. You can see that we have a handful of conflicts for the nursery team. This is because I have scheduled two people into more than one role on this team. Misty and Sally are being asked to serve as aides, but also at the welcome table. If you want to allow people to serve on multiple roles, just click the name of the team and then uncheck the box for treat multiple roles as a conflict. Go back over to your service volunteers page and you'll see those conflicts are gone. Text and email reminders go out to your volunteers by default six days and one day before the date of service. You can edit this reminder schedule by clicking the menu for a team, then settings. Here you can change those reminder dates or Enter a zero for one of the fields if you only want one reminder to go out. Be sure and save your settings. You can email or text just one team by clicking the menu for that team. To email or text all of the teams on this schedule, just click the menu for the schedule rather than just the team. You can find more information about scheduling volunteers located in our knowledge base by clicking the question mark in the upper right corner of your screen and then selecting knowledge base.